Hey peeps, Tyler here with my April writing update because I'm trying to give it update at least once a month. Of course I'm still recovering from top surgery and though I am recovering and um, also trying to figure out my own head. Mercury retrograde might have been a thing. I don't know. Regardless, I think I finally figured my shit out. Hopefully. And I'm starting to slowly build some momentum. I'm not quite there yet, but I am in chapter 4. I'm at 12,715 words at the moment. In, in Project Maybon, which the project name has more to do with how the idea came than the actual story. But, um, I am looking at my reverse outline. I haven't actually written anything in chapter 4 yet, though I have like 2,000 almost words in chapter 4. So I can say a little bit about it. As I've already mentioned, it's a some shade of like queer YA fantasy set in an entirely different planet world that I've done a bunch of world building on or a bunch for me anyway of course I keep adding too but I don't think if I've I'm not sure if I've actually named the planet but there's countries but it takes place mostly in autumn country there's also countries for the other seasons each seasonal country has a god or goddess, those four are siblings. And while I'm currently expecting you to see all of them, I think, at, at some point, it's going to mostly focus on the autumn goddess and um, as well as a bit on the spring God. Who doesn't actually have a name yet? But the Autumn Goddess, her name is Scarlet. Of course, names may end up changing. Of course, everything may end up changing because I'm still early in the rough draft. So you can take it all with a grain of salt. And as I've also mentioned, the main character is a trans boy. Right now, he's starting off at 10 years old. It will take place over a few years, so I think he's going to be like 15, maybe 16 by the time it's done. So there will have to be like some sort of time skips. And because he's a trans boy, well his parents don't accept him, so that's a thing. His parents are alive, but they don't accept him whatsoever. And. There's the Autumn Equinox, hence Maybon, but it's not called Maybon in the story. The Autumn Equinox Festival, because obviously that's very important for the Autumn Goddess. So they're getting ready for the Autumn Equinox Festival initially, and they're trying to force him into the Autumn dress. Well, they end up doing that. And of course he does not want to wear the fucking dress. So that's the whole fucking thing. And there's also a stranger there that becomes important. I think will become important. According to what I have in the outline. But um, though I'm st I still don't know all the details. Because my outline st still leaves a lot of details to be known. Simply because that is how I write. But it is way more detailed than any outline I've ever done before. But it's also the first novel length story I've written. And then you have the Autumn Equinox Festival, which is actually what I am writing about at the moment. There's 
At first, I was there in an apple forest, and there's like a there's a bit of a bullying scene. Nothing too much. And then he runs off into like the corn maze. Like I said, all of this stuff may end up changing. But um, he ends up getting lost and meeting the autumn goddess Scarlet. Of course, the gods and goddesses are varying degrees of interacting with people. Many of them like live with the people, but like typically probably in their own castle or house or whatever, obviously, but on the earth, not all of them. But it's not called Earth. It's not Earth. But and there are some other countries that are mostly irrelevant. I say mostly because I think they'll also like end up going to Mermaid Isle at some point over the ocean. But um, so. He meets Scarlet when he gets lost, who says he can live with her now, in a nutshell. So he ends up going to her castle with the, um, some of her army men take him there because she has to be at the festival at the moment. So, and right now I'm doing like a whole, I'm actually in a scene of like a ceremony near the end of the festival. So there's that, and of course, there's magic, there's different beings that I've created in the world building. They have different like abilities, different, even humans have some magic, but of course there's limitations and whatnot. So that's a whole world building thing. And there's also some other characters as well. There's um like I said, names and stuff may change, but there's Ivy, who is a another kid the same age as him. She has an older brother, Forrest. And then Ivy and Forrest have a dad, Oliver, and Oliver has a mom, their grandmother. Her name is Ren. So you also see them going around. Because, of course, they will also play a part in the story. And... I'm not sure what else I can really say. I figured I could say like that much because I'm not very far in the story. But there's also... Well, there's a pumpkin... Um, scene with them. Where you have a conversation between... Ivy and Forrest and... Oliver. As well as... Uh, the trans boy, his initial, what will become his dead name, is Maple. Because at some point, there will be a scene where he chooses his name, but I have not gotten to that point yet. So unfortunately, I had to think of a dead name. And all the names are somehow related to Autumn. So Maple. And... Maple's currently not... He's already at the castle at that point. So they're in the pumpkin patch because the autumn goddess does not look human. She's like a tree with a pumpkin head. And there's in a pumpkin patch, and there are pumpkins to like carve for her and everything. And they end up in an argument because Ivy is a trans girl. And Oliver and Forrest and her family is completely accepting. So they get in a fucking argument over that, and that his parents go off, like, pumpkins here at this 
this is not exactly what they say, but like, the pumpkins here are not good, let's go find some other pumpkins. And, that kind of bullshit. And, um, then they end up going, they have to go to this, I'm calling it a haunted house at the moment, it's not really a haunted house, I have to find a better name for it. But they end up with like some sort of like, a trial initially to get to the thing, like downstairs that everybody has to go through and of their own thing. And then they're down there and everybody's eating and chatting and whatnot and there's the stuff that the goddess is selling on some shelves and there's a tarot card table and other things and an altar in another room and that kind of stuff and I kind of want to talk about Ren because I've realized there's a very weird combination of like me and my grandmother and herself because one I have a mangium on my leg I've shown it in pictures and videos on my blog and what not. Hopefully, maybe I can remember to leave a link in the description if you want to see it, but I have a mangioma on my leg from my knee to my privates that I was born with and they can't do anything about because it is big and deep. So I've given her some a mangioma as well as like some back issues and whatnot. She doesn't have nearly as many medical issues as I do. And due to people on the internet, I'm still kind of worried that people will say, Oh, that's not realistic to have more than one disability or some shit. It's like, but you don't even have a quarter of the issues I have. And somehow I'm already anticipating that crap. But. And also, like, she's a grandmother. She's not young. But, um. But also her personality. I've made her, like, this. She's just come to me as an. And I realized she's like a combination of me and my grandmother and just herself. And I love her already. And I've barely even done anything with her in the story yet. She's already in the story, but not a whole lot yet. And I already love her. Plus, I love all the characters so far. Minus, like, his Mabel's parents. But they're gonna be interesting. Especially his dad. If it goes where I'm thinking. But, yeah. So that's a bit about the story so far. And... Let me know if there's... If you have any questions, I guess. Because I, I don't know how long the story's going to take me. Exactly, but I'm very excited to finally be starting to like figure out my writing process, what works for me. Hence, earlier when I mentioned like getting my shit together or however I worded that. And I'm just so excited. I'm terrified. In the sense that, like, writing is terrifying. It's like, can I do this? Do I have the skills to do this? I don't know, but I'm doing it anyway. And I'm going to do the best I, get, I can. And I'm just getting so excited about this story. And now I have another story that I have not started yet. That I mentioned. Project Snails. Which is weird, and I don't want to say anything about it yet, because I have not started it yet. And it's just, like, forming into my mind. And I've been writing stuff down, and... That idea came with to me through a stream that I was watching with a friend. And I was high, and somebody mentioned snails. And then it, it, it got, came from there. It does involve snails. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> Which is also why I'm reading a book about snails now. <laughs> but, um... 
I think that's going to be a collection of stories, not an actual like, novel. And that's going to be on the side. I'm still going to be mostly doing Project Maybon. At least that's the plan. But yeah. I... Obviously, I don't want to, like... Ignore the fact that... Ignore a story that's, like, screaming at me to write it. Because then you end up just never writing it. In my experience. So... I'm at almost 13k for Project Maybon. I'm finally starting to get somewhere. The middle has me terrified, even though I have an outline. To some degree. Like, I took like 3,000 words, I think it was, of an outline. So I know where I'm going, but at the same time, I'm also very much a pantser, and I know my characters will do shit that I'm not currently expecting. And the middle is just, like, terrifying. But exciting. I have no idea if this makes sense to people who aren't writers. But yes. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to. And thank you for watching.